The history of Oak Hill is well documented. The house is one of three mansions built in the 18th century on the enormous Ravensworth estate. William H. Fitzhugh, an Englishman, turned approximately 22,000 acres of wilderness into one of the largest tobacco plantations in Virginia in the late 1600s. It uh, extended from uh, the, um, the Belvoir Proving Ground south of, of Springfield uh, all the way over to Lake um, uh, Barcroft on uh, Columbia Pike all the way to the Fairfax Courthouse in Fairfax City. Today, Oak Hill Mansion is one of only three grand buildings from the Fitzhugh Estate to have survived. It was saved from development in 2004 when the county purchased an historic easement on the manor house and land for preservation because of its history. John Brown maps changes that divided up Oak Hill and Ravensworth land through generations of inheritance and sale. Maddie McCoy, developer and curator of Fairfax County's Slavery Inventory Database, shares insights from her research of the lives of Ravensworth slaves, former slaves, and free blacks. Together, the speakers present what is known of a now lost African American community that developed in the late 1800s on former Oak Hill land on Braddock Road. The Fitzhugh family built uh, really three major plantation houses over time on the property. Uh, one was the Ravensworth Mansion, a 22,000 acre plantation, uh, a huge, huge uh, parcel of land acquired in 1685 by William Fitzhugh. A second one was Ossian Hall, that was uh, a bit off of Ravensworth Road uh, between Braddock Road and uh, Little River Turnpike Route 236 in the Annandale area. And the third one was Oak Hill and uh, was the residence of Richard Fitzhugh, who was three generations removed from the original William, but in the fourth generation of occupation of Ravensworth. And he has, at any point in time between 30 and 60 slaves, let's say starting in 1800 going through to about 1840. So that's kind of interesting about this Oak Hill story is that all of a sudden you start looking at the neighborhood around Oak Hill and we start realizing that there are people who are enumerated as black or as mulatto that are based around the Oak Hill home. What it came down to is that all of a sudden we realized that we had this community just down the road from Oak Hill, further down towards Braddock Road, off of Wakefield Chapel Road, that it, was, it had just been lost to time. More of Oak Hill's rich history was revealed when an undocumented slave cemetery was discovered on a nearby plot of land. At the cemetery, there was only one headstone that had a name carved into it. The other grave markers were just rough cut filed stones with no inscriptions. In the summer of 2005, Maddie McCoy began researching to try and identify individuals buried in the cemetery on Guinea Road. We had oral history from an African American family for decades saying, we have kin buried on the corner of Little River Turnpike and Guinea Road. The land that these individuals were interred on was owned by the Fitzhugh family starting in 1685. Archaeologists did go in and they, through the burials were excavated, they were reinterred further down the road, but they did a very precise and very systematic archaeological dig and they were able to identify a number of remains and these were all individuals of African descent, um, and, but they were also able to determine how old the burials were and when these people were buried there. So we knew that they were in the mid of the 1800s. Because of the discovery of the Guinea Road Cemetery, Maddie developed a slave inventory database from her research into the lives of the Ravensworth slaves, former slaves, and free blacks. So the slavery inventory database is really a genealogical database, which I hope to be able to put online soon, that recording and identifying enslaved individuals that lived here by first and by last name. So if somebody wants to research their African-American genealogy and their African-American heritage, it's very difficult to find these records. You sort of get to this wall of slavery. The first thing that you need to do is get a pad, some pencils, and an accordion file, 
and then start talking to your relatives. That's the first and foremost. And just start writing it down. Dates, places, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't necessarily make sense at first, um, but it usually will. And then come to a place like the Virginia Room at the Fairfax City Public Library, where there are genealogical resources. To learn more about the history of African-American families in Fairfax County, as well as the history of Oak Hill, visit the Virginia Room at the City of Fairfax Regional Library, located at 10360 North Street.